Hi there again everyone, Josie here from Level 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here in my channel. Today my daughter and I are going to be decluttering and reorganizing her bedroom. As you could see, there are a lot of things going on her wall. Uh, she's outgrown them and she wants a change. So we've decided to work on this together. So we'll probably be removing a lot of the stickers or wall decals that we've had here for like almost five years now. Um, even that anatomy and this astrology poster. She said that she just wants to declutter her wall space however she also wants to keep a lot of the mementos that she has that she likes um, that of course uh, makes it more personal uh, for her and as you could see there are a lot of books on the floor because when she's studying sometimes she just drops the textbooks and notebooks on the floor and the folders because she doesn't have enough room on her desk as you can see there's a stack or a pile of books on the corner of her desk and then on the floor here so I even bought her that blue wicker there just to kind of organize some of her folders and study materials but we're going to be purging that today and then we're going to be either throwing things that she doesn't need and then organizing the things that she still needs because so that's my daughter there with her back behind the camera and anyway we're also going to be clearing up the other areas of the bedroom this is going to be an entire room redo so there are things that we may want to keep like for example this water dragon or sea serpent and also another one that we want to keep is the cross stitch that my mother made on this wall here and my mother my she's already passed on and she made this for her and it was years ago that she sent it from the Philippines to the United States so yeah those are the things that are near and dear to her heart they're gonna be staying here we're also going to be revamping her bed and I have a pretty exciting DIY there for you and also this wall of posters movie posters and of course another scientific or anatomy and that she says that she doesn't really need to be up on the wall anymore and also her bin of bags we're gonna put that in another place where we can organize it so uh, the next time you come back a lot of this clutter are going to be gone and we're going to be fixing everything and cleaning up everything so that it will look really really nice so so here it is after six hours of purging decluttering and then reorganizing this is now how the bedroom looks like and it's now brighter than before and it even looks a lot more relaxing and airy and we kept some of the wall decals or stickers like this one the carpe diem because of the color and of course the saying she really likes this saying a lot and here's how it looks like here from this angle as well remember earlier this has movie posters and also her anatomy poster and then on that side her astrology poster and on top of her desk was another anatomy poster but now the walls are breathing because there are no more clutter and there was even one tree there that I put I have to be honest a lot of the decorations there that were juvenile were from me and yeah even the books that were laying down on the floor the folders her notebooks her textbooks they're all now organized neatly in the shelving unit and just want to let you know about the shelving unit by the way as a disclaimer this shelving unit was sent to me I didn't buy this with my own money but this was sent to me by a sponsor and their company's name is song mix but I have been asked to review it or to try it on and maybe include it in my video so I'm just being honest and upfront with you but I wouldn't be recommending a product if I don't think it's going to be working out well so instead of me just trying it without taking a video I tried it for a couple of days put it together from assembling the product and also putting things together I think I could say honestly that this is a good product so yeah I stand by this product and another product that I chose also is that storage Ottoman and I will explain to you later now they're giving my viewers and subscribers 10% 
discount code which I'm going to be linking down below just in case you are interested in purchasing these products. I'm not forcing you to do so but I'm just letting you know that again just being honest with you that these are the products that I got for free and I'm using it here and it really works a lot better now with these products. Now you'll get free shipping and handling if you are an Amazon Prime member because they have their store set up at Amazon. So again, if you're a Prime member, you'll get free shipping and handling. It was again, 10% off. Coupon code, links to the coupon codes are, are in the description box below. Now anyway, just want to let you know what I used here are Dollar Tree storage bins and they work perfectly. They fit perfectly. And I like the clean lines of the shelving unit because it complements the desk that my daughter has. It's an IKEA desk. Even though the color or finish are not the same, my daughter's desk is gray or silver in color. And this one is more like espresso or mahogany in color. Because of the design, the clean lines, and it's not bulky, it's not too intrusive, it still works well. And my daughter doesn't have a lot of furnishing in this room. I will show you the other two pieces that she has. So this came in one box and all you need to do is connect the two sides to the shelves and the screws and even the screwdriver are included. And this one is made of bamboo solid wood material and it's not wobbly and yeah it's really solid and it even carries even the heavy books because you can see here my daughter has medical books and she has them and those are also her the books that she's been reading recently and then at the bottom there are some medical books or textbooks she organized here uh, we were able to fit three of the Dollar Tree organizers here I was able to also put in, the, this was on the floor before, but this kind of like looking like a suitcase with the world map. And I used that. It's from Michael's. And you remember this hello sign that I just hold from Target Dollar Spot? It's now only $1.50. So it works well here in the color scheme. And I also put this double, uh, you know, clear colored base in turquoise. And I just used Dollar Tree flowers a bunch each of this white hyacinth here so yeah and she even has a compass here because she likes the nautical theme so again like I said she has some books here that she's been reading and cyclopedia her uh, the novels and also journals she likes writing journals also like her mom me <laughs> and then of course this second layer here or tier she has also her spigma manometer, also her pen light, because she's a pre-med student, so she's able to organize them better. And on the third or bottom layer there, she's able to put that anatomy fold-out poster that was on top of this desk before. And now her wall is very, very clear. It's so clean and bright, so she likes it a lot. Anyway, I just want to show you also an item here on this desk that I purchased from the Target Dollar Spot. This metal organizer. It's used for spoon, forks, and knives, and also, um, you know, napkins for parties. But now she's using it to organize her school supplies. It even houses her scientific calculator her sharpener, her pencils and pens, she even has her vitamins and also her liquid gels or sanitizers. Yeah, she even has her sticky notes here and all her knickknacks. She likes BB-8 from Star Wars. And those are her photos from when she was a little girl. And on this dresser here, on top of this dresser, this dresser is the one that she already had. This was from my father-in-law. And we're kind of just like trying to match this color with this. And that's the closest we can get. So anyway, uh, we cleaned it up, uh, kind of decluttered the top. And we put a ship here, which she likes because of the nautical theme. And, and she plays video games. And she actually has a YouTube channel. And her moniker is Nautical Angel 7 she doesn't upload as much as before actually she hasn't uploaded any video in quite some time now because she's so busy with her studies these are her collections of Assassin's Creed memorabilia now this water dragon is very precious to her and this one also it's her drawing from when she was at kindergarten 
when she was five years old. Now onto these closet doors, we have wall decals again because we love the Dollar Tree wall decals. And we have here, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. And on the other one, in a world where you can be anything, be yourself. And we've had this for like four years already since we moved here. And then this is the, another wall decal, just the one that I showed earlier. It says here, dream into action. Now back to this wall. This wall clock is also a nautical theme. It has a seahorse and also a starfish. It used to be on the wall on the opposite side of this bedroom. Right here. And now I left this canvas here and hung it a little lower than before so that it'll be closer to the storage ottoman that I got also from Song Mix. And I just want to show you how this ottoman works because it folds flat if you want to store it or when you're moving it's easier to handle. Just want to show you how quick it is once it's empty on both ends just fold it but remove first the padding at the bottom and then voila put them together here and now it's flat and it now contains about probably a dozen or more of her purses and backpacks. I like that it serves dual purpose, a storage and an ottoman. Now onto her bed, I have this DIY headboard here. I used the cushion that you normally would see on furnishings outdoors. I got this from Ross for like $12.99 and this is the right size for her bed because she has a double bed or a full size bed it's a little bigger than the twin size, a little smaller than the queen size. So this cushion works perfectly fine as far as size goes. So all I did was I sewed the, you know, some ribbons at the back, one on each side, and then I hung it on the wall using nails. I was going to use 3M command hooks, but then when I was kind of moving things around because I was trying to adjust the height, it just lost its tacky or sticky side so what i did is just i just used nails just regular nails and then just kind of like kind of put it on the wall or hammered it on the wall in a diagonal so that i will have uh, some sort of hook that i can put this and it's just nice it's also cushiony she loves it and it only cost me 12.99 now on this corner i got this from home goods probably three years ago bought it for $19.99 it's a metal kind of like a magazine rack but she's using it to organize her folders remember those folders that she has on the floor she's already had this before but she just kind of purged the things that were there and then this two um, kind of like a bulletin board that she has where you could insert photos and cards yeah she has that also on the wall and we cleaned it up she had a lot of things there now that wooden plaque there that it has the anchor we chose the one with the chevron gray chevron and then the anchor is in silver because it's muted enough not to compete with the design on the headboard so even though it looks a little busy it wouldn't because it's muted it's light color compared to this headboard here and love this piece here from the dollar tree enjoy the little things if you want to go and buy these things from the Dollar Tree, just a dollar, wow, for the quality, for the price, it's really great. Now, I love this anchor lamp that she has. We got that from Kirkland years ago. And this is a DIY uh, that I did of the succulent uh, for the Mother's Day, but she loved it, and so she's keeping it. And this one is a gift from my husband. It's a music box. She has this kind of like time capsule here, and yeah... She has this peacock also, and there's her journal. And underneath, this is, again, the only furnishing left that she has in the room. And it's the same color scheme as the shelving unit. But she has this. My mother-in-law gave this to her. It's her nightstand. She keeps her books and journals there as well. So, yeah, this is not a very big room. And I'm just glad that all the clutter is gone. And she's going to be maintaining it uh, I hope. <laughs> I think uh, with all these organizers that I have added here, it's going to be better now. And she has places for the things that she loves. And actually, those drawers, we removed 
some of her old clothes we purged it and we have some of her old books that she still needed for reference and also her old reports because those are valuable to her so yeah and I like this a lot and again please uh, check on the link down below if you're interested in these two organizers the shelving unit as well as the ottoman both has 10% off and I just tried to lit turn on this lamp just so you could see that corner there it's really pretty that drawing there that sketch is from one of her patients she's actually uh, working at this autism center and she, her patient has given this to her and it's really valuable to her too the sketch there at the back and this one is from my mother she's passed on already and she made this cross stitch she loves it a lot as well so a lot of the things that are really important to my daughter we kept it there this is not a model home although we do go to model homes to get some inspiration but it still has her personality here um, we didn't make it as if it's like you're entering or walking into a model home it is something that you will still know that it's my daughter who stays in here once you walk in the door you know it's her so yeah just a tip for you so hope you like this um, video and that you're inspired to do the same thing i know it's springtime most of the time we do the purging and the cleanup spring and fall and sometimes we do get this and we don't notice that we have clutter accumulating and things so it's time to purge time to declutter and time to organize so again this is josie from life at 50 and beyond please click like and share and comment down below if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe talk to you again bye bye